Question mark Van Comeyson. Dosing and monitoring in adults. Estimate patients creatinine clearance. CRCL. CRCL. Mil. ML per minute equals 140 age. XT3W. KG. X0.85 for females. 72 x SCR. Use minimum SCR of 1 mg slash 2. Certain disease states or other factors may alter the relationship between SCR and CRCL resulting in over or under estimation of CICL. Determine maintenance dose using the following each maintenance dose. Aprox. 12 to 15 mg per kilogram. Should be administered at the dosing interval recommended for a patient CRCL. Maximum initial dose is 1 500 mg every 12 hours until serum concentration monitoring indicates the need for higher dosing. Utilize recommended infusion rates to minimize development of Redmond syndrome. Kg, van comic and doses. Dose, mg. Infusion rate based on DOSE. Aprox, less than 15 mg per minute. 1590 minutes. 83 minus 991250075 minutes. 66 to 82 1000 SO minutes. 50 to 65 750 SO minutes. 33 question mark 49 500 SO minutes. Vac missing dosing interval based on estimated CRCL CRCL. ML per minute. Dosing interval. HRS. 40 to 79. 25 to 39. Give an initial loading dose of 15 to 20 mg per kilogram. Redose patient with 12 to 15 mg per kilogram and serum level 15 mcg slash ml. Hemodialysis. Peritoneal dialysis. Question mark peritoneal dialysis. Continuous renal replacement therapy. CRRT. Maintain trough 15 mcg slash ml. Serum concentration monitoring. In most cases only vancomycin troughs necessary for routine monitoring, not recommended for patients. Receiving therapy less than 4 days or are receiving oral vancomycin therapy. Minimal drug absorbed, trough concentrations or NLYF, requiring therapy 4 days or are with severe or life-threatening infections or are receiving concomitant nephrotoxic drugs, e.g. cyclosporine, amphotericin 31 aminoglycosides or who are morbidly obese. Obtain trough levels prior to the fourth dose of a new regimen, prior to the third dose for patients with dosing intervals, 24 hours. Trough levels should be obtained within 30 minutes before the next scheduled dose. Repeat trough levels weekly with stable dosing AND with any significant changes in renal function target trough concentrations of 515 mcg slash ml recommended. Trough concentrations of up to 20 mcg slash ml may be desired and selected. Severe infections where drug penetration may be compromised. Consider infectious disease or clinical pharmacist consult in these cases. Both trough and peak concentrations or NLYF. Peak 7 obtained. The clinical utility of obtaining serum peak concentrations is not obtained. With severe infections requiring high concentrations to penetrate selected sites e.g. endocarditis, osteomyelitis, or are not responding to therapy. Obtain peak levels at least one hour after the end of the infusion. Peak levels of 20 to 40 mcg slash ml have been considered therapeutic. Random concentrations or NLYT. Severe renal dysfunction or on dialysis. Obtain a level after 3 to 4 days of therapy. More frequent sampling is usually not necessary. Redose with serum level MCG slash ML.